I believe with everything within me that every believer wants to grow in their study of God's word. There's so many obstacles, however, that can present themselves that keep us from really studying like we should. There are time factors. And then sometimes there is just the lack of simplicity when it comes to reading or even being taught the Word of God. That's why I created a platform called Clear Studies. What is Clear Studies? Clear Studies is a platform where you are a part of an e-class and each week I send you a link to a 15-minute podcast and a 15-minute video. That way, whether you're an auditory or visual learner, you're covered on both ends. The podcast is something that you can download to your device and listen to it when you get ready, when you have time to do so. It may be midnight, it may be three in the morning, it may be during your lunch break. But to accompany the teaching, each week you also will get a colorful PDF handout that is virtually a transcript of the teaching. So you won't miss a single word that I have said in the video or in the podcast. But beyond that, it comes with discussion questions that are simple yet provocative that will enable you to think your way through that passage and apply it to your everyday life. It's something that you can share with your family, with your friends. You can even create your own discussion group about each week's lesson. I want you to be a part of my e-class. I want you to grow in the study of God's word. I don't want you to miss out on what God is doing and on this divine opportunity to grow, to study, and to learn with others. There'll never be an embarrassing moment where you're asking a question in front of the group or where you put on the spot. It's just like it's just me talking to you and then God talking to you while you're studying on your own. If there's ever a question, you can always email me. Why don't you join right now? Clearstudies at gmail.com. Just send an email and say, sign me up and we will add you to the E-class and you can join scores of other people around the nation who are being blessed by these brief but impactful teachings. Hey everybody, welcome to TNT Tuesday Night Teaching. Here's a little throwback for your soul. That's it. If you're determined to lift up the name of Jesus, clap your hands. Oh, hey, hey, hey. I'm a soldier with the army of the Lord.
Well, God bless you, family. Welcome to TNT Tuesday Night Teaching with Bishop Littman. So happy to have you here with us. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and are in the comments. I want to talk to you tonight about five secrets to turning obstacles into successes. Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. That's our key verse tonight. Listen, everybody has obstacles in their life, but the difference between most people is that we don't know how to turn our obstacles into successes. Welcome. Come on in. It's so good to see you tonight. Let me give you point number one to turn obstacles into successes as Paul did. Number one, you have to change your mindset, change your mindset. Paul says in the midst of not having resources, in the midst of not having his freedom, changing of the mindset, I can still do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. The first step to turning an obstacle into a success is to change the way you see it. Now, many people view obstacles as the end of the road. Is that you? As a result, they shrink back from the obstacle and don't find ways around it or to improve themselves in the midst of it. You have to flip the script on the enemy in order to become successful. You have to flip your thinking and change your thinking and your point of view. And what that means is that you need to change your mindset from defeated perspectives to an opportunity for growth. That's how Paul saw everything. In jail, an opportunity to preach, or whatever the case may be, shipwrecked, an opportunity to minister. Every obstacle that comes your way is an opportunity to challenge yourself to grow as an individual. And you have to view your obstacles that you face as an opportunity. And it's the way that God brings success into your life. Paul said, I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. That has to be your testimony. Number two, you have to think about it rationally, rationally. Now, as children, we often respond to obstacles with emotions. Think about it. We pouted as kids. We cried as kids. We kicked the screen. We blamed somebody else. It was his fault, her fault. But now that we are adults, we need to face our obstacles head on and rationally. Some of us still kick and scream and crying and pouting. That's not the mindset of victory. Although it is fine to cry. Everybody has to cry sometime. Wipe away those tears. And eventually you begin to think about the obstacle with a clear head. That's what Paul did. He didn't stay stuck in where he was. He said, I can. And that way you get an opportunity to think clearly about your next step. And you can ultimately overcome the obstacle and become successful in it. Welcome to those of you that are just joining us. This is TNT Tuesday Night Teaching. Here's number three. Reflect on your past. Now, as I've already mentioned, your life is full of obstacles just like mine. And this is actually a good thing because it means that you can learn from your past mistakes. Whenever you face a new obstacle, remember that you have likely faced a similar situation before. Coronavirus is probably the only thing that all of us have not ever seen in our lifetime before. But now we're coming out of it. And so when you go through your next obstacle, reflect on the past and see if you can learn anything from it. If you think hard enough, you will likely think of a past scenario that will help you with your current scenario. That's what Paul did. He could reflect on the things that he had incorporated upon learning from being in prison, learning from being uh, pelted with stones, from being shipwrecked and combine it all and say, if I came through that, I can come through this. I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. Number four, design your next step. Now, once you've thought about the obstacle rationally and reflected on your past and the things that you learned, you can then begin to move into action steps for a resolution. You see, your action steps are going to be how you approach the obstacle in order to turn it into success. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So you have to put your ideas into action. If you notice that your first plan didn't work out, hey, that's okay. I can still do all things through Christ. Make adjustments. 
and keep going with your resolution. And that's why that's why we use the word design, because a design is a blueprint that isn't set in stone. Your steps for a resolution for obstacles that you're facing are a design in that you may need to alter them. You may need to pray differently. You may need to work something differently, but still I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Number five, reflect. Now, once that immediate obstacle in front of you is resolved, your job is not over yet. Because obstacles are bound to happen again in the future. It's just a part of everybody's life. And as soon as you think you've accomplished something and gotten beyond something, here comes something else. And that's how your future is going to continue to be. There's always going to be obstacles. But you have to remember that you have been empowered by Christ and you can do it. And what this means is that you should reflect on your process and all of the things that you've learned once the obstacle is over, you can even make notes in a journal or even on your computer, your iPad, your cell phone. So you can easily jog your memory and bring back the things that you have learned through your experience. And I hear Paul saying that I've learned to be content in all things. It's a learning process. And that's what life really is. So as you can see, Obstacles are really opportunities for success. Somebody type that in. Obstacles are opportunities for success. Now you begin by changing your mindset and then follow up by thinking about that obstacle rationally. Then reflect on your past. What have I learned from past experiences that I can now bring into this present experience? And then prayerfully carefully and skillfully design your next step. And once the obstacle has been resolved, reflect on that obstacle to ensure future success for your life. Listen, we're not just here to go through things. We are here to grow through things. Don't just go through, grow through. And remember the words of Paul, Make it your personal declaration this week. I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. This has been TNT Tuesday Night Teaching with Bishop A. Reginald Littman, Senior Pastor of the greatest church in the whole wide world, New Mountaintop Church, where we are reaching the world from Winston. If you're looking for a church home, Ain't no better place. Pardon my grandma, but it's just the truth. There is no better place than New Mountaintop Church. Hey, why don't you go to our website right now? Send me an email and just say, hey, I want to be a part of your ministry. I want to be under your leadership. I want to connect with the church. Hey, we would love to have you as a member. We have members all over the place. You don't have to be geographically located here for us to serve you in membership and to be a part of building up your discipleship. Hey, don't forget to join me every Wednesday for Wednesday in the Word. I look forward to sharing with you tomorrow night. Blessings to you.